Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Halo 3 and part 2 of the level The Covenant. Last time we brought down the shields protecting the Prophet of Truth's stronghold. Now we need to get in there and stop him from firing the halos. What the fuck? Yeah, and uh... What the fuck? There Big we go. hunk of flood. The flood has joined the party. I think I just said this would be good for the flood. For <laughs> yeah, the last about, episode. <laughs> about the fire grenades. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, like, there's I, so I, many I, enemies. How can you possibly keep track? Uh, like I said, there's like a ton going on in this level. But that's what makes I mean, it such a good one. We got Flood, we got Covenant. The Covenant are kind of split between two factions. We got elites who painted their ships green. Oh, artists. Shipmaster, what's your status? Significant damage. Weapon system disabled. Move to a safe distance. Stay away from the Flood. Why would the Parasite come here? The Ark is out of range of all the active installations. Priority, we must contain this outbreak before- no. First, we stop Truth. Then we deal with the Flood. Oh, that's- yeah, that's genius of them to come here. Mm-hmm. Significant damage sounds like something that a prophet would name a ship. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually, as a ship name. Mm-hmm. Careful. The significant damage has entered the system. Yeah. That's I good. I should name my car that. Uh, <laughs> I had a, you have to pay for it? Yeah, no, this week I uh, had a broken windshield and a broken tire. Jeez. Like, on the same... The 880 yeah, to Oakland. I found, I found a screw in my tire last week. No, this isn't a screw. This is a huge chunk of metal that destroyed the tire. Ooh, wow. Uh, yeah, so I gotta just... They're just Buy like, anything. just get four new ones. It's numbing. See, I just bought four new ones, and within a month found a screw in one. Yeah. And then I, had to, I had to change the tire myself, and you know how I hate doing manly things. <laughs> Wait, you changed your own tire? Yeah, absolutely. I'm wow. proud of you, Cletus. Like, I was stuck in a garage. Yeah, that's... Look uh, at this grease monkey over here. Yeah, uh, the last one I was in an underground garage, so you can't even get a tow truck down there. Speaking of vehicles, uh, we get a choice here. <laughs> Whatever we want. The shipmaster's carrier is out of commission, Chief. I need you to take down Truth. Flood's just going to put pressure on him and accelerate his plans. Punch through the cliffs. Get inside that citadel. Uh, I decided to go with the Warthog as kind of a middle ground. It's got a lot of firepower, but it's, it's It is fast. a Gosshog. It is a Gosshog, so yeah. Hmm. But the elite on the Mongoose looks hilarious. The I was going to mention this in just a little bit, but the elite on the back of the mongoose is just, it's beautiful. It is. It's like, <laughs> it's like the perfect visualization of the alliance between humans and elites. Just a seven foot tall alien riding second seat on a four wheeler. I don't know oh. anything about humans, but I'm going to help. That, this Racism is how, ended. <laughs> yeah, this is how you beat xenophobia. Yeah. ATVs. <laughs> love is love. <laughs> Oh, I love it so Truly much. Truly incredible. Yeah. Please take this giant fuel rod cannon. No, this is mine. Shotgun. You have a <laughs> rocket. You sit in the side seat and shoot it. 
Um, we're about to get a real banger of a music track, so get ready for that. Citadel in sight! The boots are mobilizing everything they've got! What a classic. It's just yeah. such a good... Oh. This is Marty, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it's a new touch on an old song, because that piano intro is... feels a little newer. Yeah, uh... I like... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, this, the start of that was the music from the uh, announce trailer. With oh, the piano right. sting. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna take the Hornet here, uh, because... Oh my god. Yeah, the last line of defense here is two Scarabs at the same time. Uh, just like uh, the other Scarab fights, there's multiple ways to deal with this, and that's you know not even counting the fact that you could be using Warthog, Scorpion Tank, Hornet. You just, there's so much choice here. Yeah, we see the big ramps before them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, for these guys, I'm going to show off, um, I guess, kind of the last option you have for fighting Scarabs. Uh, so this has been an option uh, for all of the Scarab fights. It does require a little bit of firepower, but uh, you'll see in just a second. Unfortunately, you do have to disable the legs. Uh, the Scarabs are actually really good at rotating to track you, and in order to do this, you need to get behind them. Because if you do manage to get behind them, this back plate the sweet spot. is destructible. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then you can just hit the weak point from a distance. Second Scarab oh. one. I want to point out that you gave us a content warning for a badass song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just want to point that out. It wasn't a content warning, it was, you know... It was a song <laughs> There's a lot of emotional weight to it. Uh-huh. I wanted you to be ready. But, it, like... It just works so well for the big epic vehicle fights too. Oh yeah. It's like I just love that it keeps playing. Usually they cut it off when things start happening, so Yeah, so um the music does transition um at the appropriate time, which I'm sure we'll see shortly, and it works really, really well. Which means it's a fairly open ended song. Yeah. They're all designed to work that way, which is cool. I still get chills every time I hear Breaking Benjamin, so... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. well Although, Marine, talking about music and video games, like the adaptability, always makes me think of Banjo-Kazooie. Because it has kazoo in the name. Well, yes, I agree. Because they were like experts at having multiple songs that blend into each other depending on your situation. Dope. The flood scales the Citadel's far wall. Activate this bridge oracle. The Prophet will die by my hands, not theirs. Calamity! If only we had more time! I knew like, there was a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the perfectly timed, like, halo chime. I know, it's so good. It's incredible, though.
It asked, and I answered. For a moment of safety, I loosed damnation on the star. Faithful, stand firm. Though our enemies crowd around us, we tread the blessed path. In a moment, I will light the rings, and all who believe shall be saved. Chief, how close are you? Not close enough. <sighs> that the best you got? <laughs> Oh, come on. Impress me. Stop! You imbecile! He wants you to kill him. I'd prefer that you did not. What's the matter, big shot? Can't start your own party. That secret dies with all the rest. Johnson! Sound off! <laughs> Get out of here! Not without you. You delay the inevitable. One of you will light the rings. You cannot hope to kill them all. You're right. Do it. Me. And you. Now. No! Your forefathers wisely set aside their compassion steeled themselves for what needed to be done. I see now why they left you behind. You were weak. And gods must be strong. So here's a weird turn of events. There okay. is a lot to unpack here. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot. Um, keys? Keys? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wait till the end of the video to talk about that. Okay, but like at least the fact that they were both willing to just kill themselves to avoid this. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, it's like some heavy shit. Yes. Leading into activating the ring, leading into now you're friends with the Flood? Yeah, so I've mentioned this in the thread a couple times, but the whole thing about, like, galactic extinction just really, like, it messes with the math, basically. Um, like, we don't want to be allied with the Flood, but it's preferable to everything dying. Yeah. We don't want to die, they don't want to die. Easy. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it reminds me of, like, statistics questions when you use infinity. Like, it just breaks everything. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it's so weird. With, like, the green reticle on the flood for one thing, but then just, like, <laughs> not shooting them. I'd still be popping a few of them, just in yeah, case. Right. You gotta pop the popcorn as soon as you see him. I mean, I don't mind if I, you know, accidentally have friendly fire, but they're, they are very effective friendlies. Oh, I, I, I do... As soon as I saw the ring starting to pop, I remembered doing this on Legendary. Yeah. And that was... Very difficult. <laughs> I miss the carbine. Yeah, I, I'm kind of surprised they never brought it back. I guess like the stalker rifle is similar, but... No. Oh. I forgot to warn people about that one. <laughs> oh well. I did get a pretty good spicy frisbee there, though. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> spicy uh, excellent frisbee. fire grenade. Oh, I think I miss it there. Uh, the flood infection forms will, like, very quickly jump into the brutes you kill and turn them into more flood. It's. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So far are we along the path that I must strain to hear the clumsy patter of their pursuit. Know this, my brothers. They may foul the way with their charred and broken bones, but they will not stop the journey. You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> oh yeah, we jump. 
We finally get some real buddy cop action here. Yeah, but what if you went to Strad Truth and the sword ran out of battery? Uh, <laughs> it would have been weird, I guess. I can only say that because I went to stab someone yesterday and didn't realize the sword was out of battery because it still shows the sword. Yeah. God, I hate it. Um, so we get what is probably, like, the most obvious curse your sudden yet inevitable betrayal <laughs> moment ever. <laughs> like, no shit, the Flood is going to try and kill us as soon as we stop the Halos from firing. I don't know. I thought they were good now. Absolutely I thought, not. I thought Gravemind was cool. He's definitely not. Um, oh, double plasma rifles. Very good combo. It, it works against the flood. Yeah. Um, okay, so I want to point out that I used that phrase on purpose. Um, it's a quote from Serenity, or Firefly? One of the two. Firefly, yeah. Um, and I'm doing that on purpose because... Serenity actually was a big influence for Halo 3, as weird as that sounds. Um, it was apparently Marty O'Donnell who thought that they needed to kill a main character. Uh, oh, also, this fourth ring uh, shows a whole bunch of damage, because we blew it up. What? Yeah, oh, very cool, cool detail. detail. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, so I guess Serenity came out while this game was under development, and it was Marty O'Donnell who said that, like, it's weird that none of the named characters are ever in danger. And then um, George Martin took that to heart and killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, like, spoilers, that's a thing that happens in Serenity. Um, but that's also why... Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk are in this game and we will see their names come up again because they liked the movie so much they invited them to do voice work. And they'll do anything but finish Firefly. <laughs> I'm a thief, but I keep what I steal. Uh, and that right there is, I think, my favorite piece of Halo dialogue out of any game. Really? Yes. She has some banger lines, though. She does, but that one in particular is just so, like, you have no idea what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. But then once you do, once you find out what she's talking about, it clicks in just such a satisfying way. All right. I can't wait. Yeah. I finally have something to look forward to in this series. <laughs> well, you might actually have to wait longer than the rest of the audience, because I don't know when we're going to do commentary next. Ooh. This is also some good, like, music for this scene. Yeah, the creepy flood music. Yeah. Yeah. Very, like, Scream Psycho. American Psycho? I think Psycho. What do you see?
Yeah, so that's a cool revelation. God damn. Uh, the Ark is not just like a control center for the Halo rings. It's the forge where they're built. It's so cool. Mm-hmm. Forge. Forge. <laughs> forge. That's a word. <laughs> it's, it's a like good they, word. They use that word a lot. Like, yeah, they yeah. do. In, in the multiplayer, um, too. Yeah. yeah. That's I- their level editor, but actually, I think. Um, I think a character from Halo Wars is also named something Forge, Sergeant Forge or something. It's a good word. I feel like this this is the most intense episode and I feel like the the game is over now. Like <laughs> it's like tune in next time. Yeah, it feels like, it, like it an was. ending. Yeah, like yeah. we didn't even talk about Game of Thrones once. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you did talk about GRR Martin. <laughs> Uh, that's true. Oh, I'm yeah, counting did, it. I'm yeah. counting it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> kind of been that right. serious an episode then. Don't no. dunk on him, you egg. Uh, <laughs> you egg. Fucking god. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Um, well, there's Coming still 2024. There's still more Halo to come. More interesting things are going to happen. So thanks for watching. See you next time.